Welcome back to Rossa 2025 Round 1. Day 2 was where things really kicked off. After proving the beast could break 150 miles an hour on day 1, today's goal was simple but ambitious. Push it even further and join the 175 mile hour club. One new hat per day. But with a lot that could go wrong with my prototype car, would it be straightforward like day 1? Or would I find problems? Stay tuned to find out. Rossa day two, weather's good, uh, just light breeze, a little bit chilly but hopefully it warms up later and the runway is looking ready, ready for some action, look at this, I mean look at it over in that direction with that mountains in the background, spectacular. I'm hoping to push the beast car to new records today, let's see how it goes. For run one, I nudged the RPM limit up a little and took the beast for a warm up. Okay, I hit 146 miles an hour, not bad, but when I checked the tyres, cracks on the rears and the fronts were peeling at the edges. It turns out I hadn't stored them properly since I got them last year. You're meant to seal these in airtight containers. Lesson learned. I swapped to a fresh set and went for run two. This time from further up the runway, about 450 metres out, and I sent it. It got a bit wayward on that run, actually. Scary moment near the pits when it stepped sideways, but I caught it. What caused that? I'd figure it out later. Despite being flat out, speed was only 153 miles an hour. Still a personal best, but something wasn't adding up. Coming through. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, lights, lights. I'm going, I'm going up a mile an hour. 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, Yes! Decent. Thank you. GPS said 167 miles an hour, but the trap only clocked 161. Why the gap? That's where my new post-run routine saved the day. Let me walk you through it.
I looked at the logs from run three, it hit me. One of the motors cut out just before the traps. That explained the speed drop. And on run two, both motors on the left-hand side cut out. That's what caused the car to veer. I had to fix it. If you're not familiar, VESCs work by measuring and regulating the motor phase current through a feedback loop. But if that loop becomes unstable, the power cuts off. And that's exactly what happened. I tweaked some parameters to try to reduce the likelihood of the cutouts and went back out for run four but not before completing my post-run routine by doing a bolt check. Oh. 170, okay. Cheers. It looked better, but the GPS speed was the same as run three at 167 miles an hour. The data showed one speed controller still cut out, so I reverted that one back to the old settings. This was it. I gave the beast its longest run up yet. Full send. Yes, that was a good. Yes, <laughs> that that was a run. Yes, <laughs> holy. Sh Yes! And your TPA is just going to read really? higher because you are accelerating. I've never seen it move that quick. I knew it was a good run. Yeah! Well done! Oh, yeah. Flipping out. I nearly, nearly missed out on the 175 hat. Did I actually hear that correctly? <laughs> yes. 185 through the traps, 186 on GPS, a 19 mile an hour jump in one run. Oh my god. Oh. Not only did I smash my 175 mile an hour goal, I nearly hit 300 kilometers an hour. This run proved what I'd hoped all along. The beast is a legitimate 200 mile an hour contender. And honestly, there was a tear in my eye as I headed down the steps afterwards. Take a breath, mate. Take a breath. Thanks, thanks. Fantastic run. Honestly, the way that was moving. Wait till you'll be close to 190 on the GPS because you were accelerating way through the drops. Yeah, we'll see in a minute. Yeah. 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 Well done. Yeah. Thanks, thanks. Yeah, yeah. Let's get this thing to get it turned off. Thank you, thank you. Oh, cheers, cheers. Yeah, cheers. Oh, cheers. Mm. Hey, hey. <laughs> well done. Well done. Brilliant stuff. Oh, I can't believe that. Oh, did you deserve it? Yeah. You nailed that, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, I was, uh, that's what I was, I was hoping, but I was starting to find some problems actually with I the ESCs cutting. And I went, I went a long, I went a long way down there that time. Yeah. And uh, sometimes that's all it takes. I feel like this rev. It might have hit that, it might have been the rev limiter as well, actually. It's just redemption. Everything you went for at round yeah. three last year. <laughs> well done. Oh, mate. I can't believe that. Well that is, oh, I'm so pleased with that. I wasn't done for the day yet. 
I noticed the car was hitting the rev limiter during the run, so I cranked it up again and went back out. Thank you. Yes! Yes! I didn't expect it to go higher, but it did. <laughs> oh! Yeah, yeah, I'll take that. Thank you, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it works. <laughs> 190 miles an hour through the traps and on the GPS. Come back through the traps if you want, mate. All right. I was stunned. Not just a new personal record, but I earned the 300 kilometer an hour hat and showed that the beast is now in a whole new league. I think I've done a foam on that one. It's veering a bit, maybe, but we'll see. Sorry. <laughs> oh. oh, that looks so awesome when it went past. <sighs> You're in there now, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Amazing. Thank, thanks a lot, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> can, you oh, can you do a photo with that, with that not on my head as well? Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Perfect. Thanks, Martin. Brilliant. Thanks, Stuart. Brilliant. Well done. Oh, it's the stuff of dreams, that is. Day two was everything I'd hoped for and more. I raised my PR by 40 miles an hour with two new hats, proved the potential of my build and did it all on one set of tyres and hard case batteries. But the big question is now, on day three, can I push it over 200 miles an hour? If you want to see how that goes, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. You won't want to miss the final day of Ross Around 1.